In this part, we are going to create a list box by using the headless UI. And so first we have to create a next app. So we copy this yarn, and then we go to the terminal. Then we type yt, and then learn headless list box. And then we will install the Tailwind CSS. We enter the project by typing cdyt learned headless list box. And then we type the npm install dash development Tailwind CSS to install the Tailwind CSS and also init the Tailwind CSS to generate both tailwind.config and post css.config. So we copy this and then we paste the npm tailwind css in it. And then we have to go to code dot to open the VS code and go to the tailwind.config.js and we, we paste this and save it. And then we also copy this and paste to the styles, gobos.css. And we paste to here and save it. And now we already installed the Tailwind CSS, so we can go to install the headless UI. So we copy this. And then we go to terminal and install the headless UI. And then we are going to create the components. And this is, uh, we will copy my list boss. And then we go to the pages. And under the pages, we create the components and then we create a new file called my listbox.js and then we type rafc and then we go to the app and go to the index and we remove all of this and then we type my listbox Now we go to type young dev and then we go to the localhost 3001 you can see the my list boss so now we can go to here to make a very simple example we can copy this and go inside my list boss and then we replace this and then we can see there is people and there are the dummy data with ID, name, and, and unavailable. And then we have the function my list boss. And this returned the list boss, the list boss buttons. And we have to use the export default function. Now we go to import the my list boss. And then we save it. And now you can see the list boss appeared in the home page. And we are going to add the style to the list boss. So first we go to the list boss and go to the button. And then add the class. And now you can see it has some style to the button. And then we go to add the style to the options. So we go to the options and paste to here and save it. Now you can see we have the styles in both the button and also the options. And now we go to the index to add some styles so it should have some background colors. And uh, this box should not be so long and it should be shorter. And there is some space around the top and also the left side.
So we go to here and then we paste the class name which has the background colors. And then we go to the div which around the my list box and then we paste the class name fix which has the top space and also the left space. So now you can see the list box is not sticking on the top or sticking to the left. And it is not in full width because we have says the width is 72. In this part we are going to add the chat icon right before the names. So at last this will look like this. And we also want to add the add a style, the active style. And first we have to install the hero icon and because the check mark is inside a uh, React hero icon. So we copy this from the documentations and then we back to the terminals and we paste this command to install the hero icon. After we already installed the hero icon, we go to the list box and refer to the documentations. We go to uh, import the chat icon, but because this is version 1 and now it already go to version 2, so refer to the documentations of hero icons. We have to import from React 24 solid. So we copy this and we paste to here. But instead of using the bigger, bigger icon, we use the chat icon. And then we go to the list box and uh, we copy this list box dot options. It's the what inside the list box dot options. So we copy this and and then we go to the list box dot options. And then we replace this. And then we go to format document. And it also has as fragment now if we go back to the fragment is not defined so we have to import the fragment from we add so we copy and back to here and from uh, import the fragment from we add and now if we back to the website, and now we can see we have the chat box, but the chat box is very big. And if we click on the others, it will highlight it. And the other will not be having the chat box. And when the mouse over the, the name, it will have the active style. So now we are going to fix the large icon. So we back to the chat icon and add the class name is equal to h5, the height of 5 unit and width is 5 unit. And now you can see if we click on this, it will have a smaller check icon. But there should be some space uh, if there is no check icon and also they should in the same row rather than in another line. So we also have to add another styles to the check box. So first we use the span to wrap the check icon. And then we add the class and this mainly to uh, make the make the check box and also the and now if we go to select one of these, it will have the chat box, but uh, this is a little bit weird because it should have some space on the left side so the you can we can see the chat box. So we are going to add the, the list box class. So if we back to the documentation, we can see at the list box dot option, we can fix this, this by adding the padding left 10 unit. So it will have some space on the left side. So we go to copy this class name and then we go to the list box dot option and paste this. 
and now because we already has the active style on the list boss dot option so we do not need to duplicate this so we remove this style on the list item and then we back to the website and then we go to refresh the page and we can see it has the active style and also there is a nice icon on the on the front in the front of the name now in this list box we can select a specific person but actually we can also make this to select multiple person by adding the multiple props to the list box so we copy this multiple and we turn to our project and we can go to the list boss and add multiple and then instead of just a person and remember this is a array so we copy this and then we replace this and we also change this to see that person dot map the person person dot name and then join with the command and then we save it now we can see the list box can select multiple values and actually we can make this horizontal so we go to here and find horizontal and we can copy this and then we go to here and add horizontal and then we also change this to fresh row so we go to the options maybe we add to the front and we also have to remove the width full and also overflow auto and then we can see we can select multiple values in this part we are going to add the transition so first we have to import the transition from the headless UI so we copy the transitions and go to the top and go to here and type comma and then paste the transition and then we use the transition component to wrap the list boss dot options so we copy this and then go to the list boss dot button and after the button we paste the transitions here and then we go to the end of the options and then we copy the end of the transitions and after the options we paste the transition component And now we can go to the web page and maybe we go to add the number of seconds to see the animations so for example we make it to 1000 milliseconds you can see it slowly appear so this is how to add the transitions to our list box